The head of Connecticut's Department of Children and Families says their hands were tied in the case of Matthew Tirado. Tirado is the autistic and nonverbal 17-year-old that died of malnutrition and abuse earlier this year, apparently at the hands of his own mother. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis was at today's hearing and has more on what DCF is saying. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Scott and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. DCF got the okay from a judge to close Matthew's case just a month before he starved to death. Never did we feel that Matthew was the subject of physical abuse or harsh punishment or severe neglect. Lawmakers were told that just two days before Matthew died, several relatives saw him in the apartment where he lived with his mother and sister, and not one person called to report any kind of abuse. Matthew's mother, Katira Torado, who now faces cruelty and manslaughter charges, denied DCF access to the child 26 times and failed to show up in juvenile court seven times. But all this was related to his not attending school. Matthew's mother legally, and I highlight legally, denied access to Matthew, thereby denying DCF the ability to know of the abuse that she was inflicting. Lawmakers were also told that even though it's hard to believe, there is no legal authority for DCF or even law enforcement to compel a parent to allow them to come in without someone reporting actual abuse, and that never happened in Matthew's case. Child advocate Sarah Egan telling lawmakers she found that DCF was unaware that Katira Tirado was abused and neglected by her mother and that she was being treated for anxiety, agoraphobia, and panic attacks. Key staff were unaware of what we thought were key facts in the case. Um, that included the family's multi-generational uh, child, child abuse and neglect history. And the child advocate noted that this kind of background would indicate that Matthew and his sister were in danger. Plus the fact that uh, his sister had told DCF a year earlier that she had been slapped and was afraid to go home from school. However, Commissioner Katz noted that the courts have upheld that slapping is an accepted form of discipline. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.